coffee with and he and Tracy. Yeah, hey. you ready? Then action. December 2nd. Uh, what? I haven't done any Christmas shopping. <clears throat> oh yeah, we bought up a boat. That was like, you can't count that towards Christmas. It counts for like Christmases. In Forever? Per, in per two, uh, <laughs> yes. I think okay. it was for pet That too, right? What you said. <laughs> okay, so. We're on the road. Perpetuity. Perpetuity. In perpetuity. Something like that. Kazoo time. <laughs> We're on the road. We're going to go retrieve the big white van up at Bucksport Marina. Hopefully that it hasn't been vandalized or... Or paved into the paving project. Or paved into the paving project. Hoping Lewis didn't steer us wrong. We're in a marina car. Actually, this is a marina rental. So, uh, we've been to several marinas in the past. And Ladies Island Marine was our first one that had a marina car that... So, if we go down there, yes. that's the ferry we passed yesterday that went out to the Cape Romaine oh, Wildlife was, Refuge. Okay. With all the graduate students. If there. we went down there, that's how you... I, might be where the school bus ferry is too. Okay. No. The school bus ferry up? was further north because we didn't go this up. way. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, Ladies Island was the first marina we went to that had a transient. Ladies Island was the first marina we went to. No, it wasn't. The first marina was... We didn't go there. It was there. We were there. It's a thing. <laughs> We went to... By car. We went there by car. Yes. Yes. Okay. Our first marina in Florida doesn't count, is what she's trying to say. Yes. But she doesn't want to say, hey, honey, you're wrong. <laughs> I would never say that in front of people. You're wrong. <laughs> but you're wrong. So Ladies Mountain Island had a really nice, um, it was like a Nissan Frontier quad cab pickup truck, and you can check it out for a couple hours at a time. Uh, we just went in the office, signed out the keys, left, came back, dropped the keys off. And then we, the next marina car we were exposed to was actually uh, at Whitaker Point Marina. I've done some shout outs to Matt up there a couple times. Beautiful marina. Gorgeous clubhouse. The grounds are gorgeous. Showers that just... Good showers. Just endless showers. So they've got the hot water on demand. They've got a water softener. I may or may not have... Stayed in there a little too long? A lot too long. But they have a marina car. And it's an old Chevy van, I think, of some sort. I don't sort. even know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's like 13 morning lights on this van. <laughs> and at least nine of them are, are illuminated. That's okay. The transmission doesn't work right. Okay. The seat belt doesn't work right. It's not okay. You can say all, a lot of other things are okay. You have to close the sliding doors on the sides before you can close, close the passenger the or the front doors. <clears throat> Let's just say it's probably been in a wreck. Or seven. <laughs> or those Duke boys took it over <laughs> right. a jump somewhere. We've experienced that van going north and coming times. back. Yes, uh, so. And we're thankful for it. And we are thankful for it. I mean, we could have used the Piglet, uh, the Piglet shuttle, but it couldn't have done everything we wanted it to do. Right. So we're in the Silver Bullet today, which is uh, 
at Cooper River Marina, one of the dock workers. This is his private rental car. He rented for the day, the week, whatever. He stole Toyota Celica. I'm gonna say 90s vintage, right? It works, it runs, the mirrors work. It's got one check engine light on. I think only one of the tires is almost bald. Yep. But it's not a rattle trap. You think that's bad? No, I don't think it's bad. But it doesn't rattle. I mean, you, no, you can't. Careful, that door might not stay closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But, but we're going to, to get our car. We're going to get our car. When it comes to marina cars, this is a top shelf kind of one. Uh, we had fun last night. We went and played Castles of Burgundy and got our butts kicked. At least uh, I did. Safely in fourth place. Wait, is there a second and a third and a fourth place, or was it just Rebecca last, won? Last. Last. <laughs> Everyone else had circled. Yeah, but nobody board. got creamed. Oh, that's right. That was you. <laughs> Everyone else had circled the game board, and some of them circled me twice. No, nobody had. No. <clears throat> yes. No. She beat you that bad by 200 points. No, 100 points. So she didn't circle you twice. I'd been past I meant, her. had you been lapped twice? I got lapped a second time, yes. Then she beat you by 200 points, okay. or 180 something. I got stomped, <laughs> slaughtered. Uh, Makile, is that Malake? No. Uh, uh, Makile. Makile. My homeboy, Makile. Uh, Michael uh, is flying out to Bean Town to be with some friends this weekend, and we hope he's well on that. I think we're uh, we're gonna just don't come back with like the hangover missing. Yeah. From Mike Tyson. Or a nose piercing. Ooh. How about a face tattoo? Makile. Um, uh, go for full neck. A okay. face tattoo? Can you see Michael with a face tattoo now? Rebecca, what do you think about that? Put your oh. answer in the comments down below. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps our <laughs> analytics. So on that front, I was looking at uh, our statistics, and we're doing this just to touch base with all of you friends, and but, all of our new friends, huh? But if you have data available, if I have, this one is going to use it. If I have data available, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. Yes, yes. I am. So uh, we have to have to to make any money off this. We have to have a thousand subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> oh. Ooh. There's plenty of time for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go back over there. And we have to have 4,000 watch hours. And uh, we've got 181 ish ish subscribers. And we've got. And like, we have to have 1,000? Yes. So we're almost there. And we've got to have 4,000 watch hours. Okay, how many are there? How many do we have? Yeah. Like 285. So again, we're almost there. Okay, so that's like very skewed. Like that's that's like one fifth of the number of watchers that you need. Yep. And one I've got twentieth. Twentieth of the time. Yes. That you need. But all that is not rhythmic. As things start growing, yeah. it scales exponentially. It, it becomes like a factorial. It is, once we make any product that people really like, I don't know if we're there yet. You guys can tell me. Like below, <laughs> hit subscribe. We'll see. Uh, and if not, for those of you that are watching, you know, Beatrice and Bumpa and Rebecca. And they're just doing it because they love us. They're just doing it for because they love us. Uh, and and uh, uh, Luis, I know you're out there. Um, that was a reference to Yes Man, where she goes on stage and she talks to her five groupies that go to 
every one of their performances. Rodrigo and Eden. So we had, um, coming in, it was a beautiful travel day yesterday, right? Yes. And I got her out of bed. So I was really sure that I was just going to die of hypothermia yesterday. Before you woke up. Before we got up, yeah. We got out on deck, it wasn't that cold. We've been in much, much colder. He and I have very different definitions of cold. I'm just saying. Shorts. I was wearing a, a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. I had on a base layer, a base layer over a base my layer. base layer, a had like warm, thick knitted, sweatshirty kind of sweater. My down jacket. You're still talking. A scarf. Okay. A hat. I had on two pairs of pants. I had on a pair of workout pants and a pair of denim jeans over it. <laughs> and I had on wool socks and my tennis shoes and I was cold. Okay. We, we have different, 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 different definitions of cold. So I, I woke her up yesterday. Did you just tell me I'm still talking? <laughs> I did. <laughs> nice. I woke her up with a cup of coffee and said, hey honey, the sooner we get to the marina, the sooner I can turn on the heat pump. She was on deck in like three minutes. <laughs> and if the kids would quit turning the heater up to 85, I might be able to stand to be in the boat. Yeah, uh, that might be good. Anyway. <laughs> you have to get it warm in the salon so it... Heat does not sink. It doesn't, but if we pack it full of heat enough, it dries. <laughs> it doesn't work like It that. does. <laughs> Poor kids in that cabin that does have a heater vent are probably gonna die. <laughs> <coughs> They've got to plank it up, lock it, their thing off. They both said they were comfortable last night. Okay, good. It's all good. I'm so glad they were comfortable. Okay, were you comfortable? I was. I slept like a baby. <laughs> good stuff. For like 10 hours. No, 9 yeah. hours. Because we didn't get to bed till 1. Nine, yeah. Okay. Out playing uh, uh, Castles of Burgundy. I was thinking of what we called it. Something of maroon. Cathedrals of maroon. Cathedrals of maroon. <laughs> Which is a game with like 17 pages of rules. And I'm and not going to say... Five different versions and an extension pack. I'm not going to say that Rebecca muddles around over to herself and then collects all the points in the, in the end and beats us. But that's what she does. We love you, Rebecca. <laughs> We're coming for you, and we're gonna all. Bring... She's just kind of like Peyton. She knows all the little tricks. Yeah. We're gonna bring our bifocals. We're coming yeah, for she... you. Yeah, that was. What was that? I think if I swipe like this, <laughs> swipe. <laughs> it, it took a picture. It took a screenshot when I was. I wonder if it bounced down onto the side button because of the way we've got it prepped up there. I'm gonna give you the chicken out for a second. Like, no, the under there and then... <laughs> okay, the funny thing is he took his glasses off, which means now he can't see a thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, where were we? You slept from... Forever. One o'clock in the morning until about... Ten. Nine this morning. Nine forty-five, yeah. Beautiful day, travel day yesterday. Um, the marina is on the Cooper River and the current rips there even at slack time. And we had our first docking tip yesterday. There was no tip. I'll give you a complaint form. The complaint form is the volunteer form. I understand. Next time you volunteer to do it. Okay. Okay, knock yourself out. So we had a... It wasn't a call. People didn't come out of their boats to watch. No, they came out actually, to protect they, their boats. Actually, they may have. <laughs> they may have come out to watch. But, but, but that's also just kind of like, courtesy. that's normal, you do that. I mean, it's just good business. It's not, well, you don't want somebody to run into your house, right? Right. I it mean, wasn't like the nosy neighbor going through no, the no, shades. No, no. And then he complimented you. Okay, the, 
we've got folding props on the boat. And when you're driving for, ahead and forward, they flip out. And when you go into neutral or stop, they fold back up. So it's this centrifugal force that Opens the makes the paddles lights. go out. And then it seems like when you pop it in reverse, at very low RPMs, they, they don't want to unfold. So you have to really goose it a little bit to get the props to bite. Um, so just maneuvering things that you're going out and back and popping into neutral wants to fall back down. We just got to figure out the right nuance of that. <sighs> so Malike, Malike. Okay, Most of our navigation stuff in, we got it on the boat. <clears throat> We're going to start and install first of the week. Uh, our other vendors uh, are disappointing. You're just aggravated. Yes. I want people to do what they say. I called a vendor, and my first vendor went to order it. They normally ship within 24 hours. They're like, oh yeah, the Christmas rush, it's gonna be. I think it was their Black Friday sale. Oh, like, did them in. It's gonna be the first year before we ship all this stuff. Not gonna work. So, like, can I pay for an extra break? Yeah, it'll ship, yeah, ship but it you won't, faster, but it's right. not gonna leave here faster. So it'll still be the end of December before it ships out. Because you wanted custom cut cable, right? No. Oh. I just wanted stuff out of a box. I went into another box and go. I thought that it was that they needed to cut and then make the ends on those cables that you needed. And on the cables, I'm buying just links of cable with ends and we trim them. Oh, okay. We're doing that ourselves. Yeah, yeah, right. So, if you, as a vendor or distributor or whatever, can't take an order and ship it in a reasonable period of time, the market's going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. So I went to my backup vendor, talked to them a couple of times. Tried to get some clarification technically and inevitably. <clears throat> I'm not a subject matter expert, but I'm an over researcher and I usually know the answer better than the person I'm asking. <coughs> Sorry. So then why do you ask the questions? Because I just want to make sure. Make sure that you know more than they do? No! I want to make sure that I understand it correctly. <laughs> but what if you're wrong? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> then why are you asking the questions is what I mean. Because uh, when they give me the wrong answer, I double down. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and if you double down, <laughs> smash the like and subscribe button. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, PKYS out of Annapolis, Maryland. Call, talk to their subject matter expert yada 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 talk to their shipping manager no it wasn't yada but you had to deal with yada on the same day too oh good god mm. go ahead i digress i digress so talk to the shipping manager oh yeah it's before noon as long as you get this shipment in by two get your order get your order in by two we're going to ship this out today and everything that you zone your order is in stock i hit send she's like got it right here. You get some emails. So I got a first email. <coughs> order confirmation or order submission. An hour later, I got an order confirmation that says you'll get more emails from us in the future that when it ships out. Didn't get one. Didn't get one the next day. I didn't realize it until Last late yesterday. the end of business hours. I called at 501 and their phone tree was already turned off this morning they're like oh yeah we sold out of that item it'll be in next week sometime hopefully we didn't ship anything I mean, and it normally it, we're supposed to update you but we didn't I guess it, I guess it didn't work I guess it didn't work too bad guys just well, we still have 45 miles left I feel like I'm driving forever because Bucksport is a long long way So between that, yada, 
truest bank, shame on you. All of them. All of them. The short story is, I contacted my bank that issues my credit card in August and said, hey, what are my actual credit card benefits? Uh, the 800 number on the back of my card couldn't tell me. The local branch manager, who is also vice president of the bank, took her a week to get it to me, gave me this documentation, said I have all these benefits. <coughs> Purchase something with said benefit, with Perfect. the assumption that these benefits were a benefit. And then when I called when I had an issue, they're like, oh yeah, that was earlier this year. It had been less than 30 days. Too bad. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a long time since uh, our bank issued that card to us. A lot has changed. Well, not, not a lot has changed in the last 30 days, lady. So between her putting me off, her supervisor putting me off, her supervisor, supervisor putting me off, I'm just not going to play nice very much longer out there. I'm a patient man. Yes. Okay. As long as they do what they say they're going to do. If not, I'll pick up my purse and run out of the, the car dealership <laughs> all by myself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> so, doesn't matter. We're in the silver bullet. Rocking it out. Going to get my car so we can go load up on Peppermint JoJo's and Trader Joe's on our way back. You're telling all of our secrets now. So, what do you like from Trader Joe's? Comment below, smash the like button, and subscribe. <laughs> You're relentless today. Which, relentless. That's what started this whole thing. Everybody out, keeps asking, like, how did the, how'd this whole thing get started? Do you want to do this in this video? No, this can be a subject for another video. <clears throat> but relentless, you gotta remind me of that. Relentless. Yep. If you, if you haven't seen it, go watch the documentary called Relentless on YouTube. Oh, or on, uh, the no, Alex? Yeah, about Alex Thompson, the wow. ocean racer. That's kind of how this whole thing got started. It is. And he's a badass. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So if you haven't watched the documentary, it is amazing. Very good. Um, throw a couple of prayer logs on the fire. Our buddy Bev. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're doing better. We're probably going to stop by and see you in the next couple of days. I know you're in good hands. Um, I didn't say anything about good footing or anything. Well, yeah, as long as the hospital isn't burning down or... <coughs> <laughs> they went in to get some tissue removed from an amputation and there was a fire in the hospital. So I, I don't think there was. He said it was a code 4. It was a code red on floor 4. Oh. But it may have all been in his imagination. But we're not sure. But, but there was a big fire on John's Island the night before. And his leg was on fire after the surgery. So, Bev, clear it up. Was there a fire at the hospital yesterday or what? Like and subscribe. <laughs> all right. Anything else you got to say? We got to go because there's so much interesting scenery to see. We should really be sightseeing. Not really. Here's the South Santee Road, which is probably goes out to the South Santee River, which is where we were anchored out night before last. And that was gorgeous. This is all scrub pine and junk. This is not junk. This is the low country. This is the most beautiful place on the face of the earth. Look at the shiny red button. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.